Disney Village is the unmissable shopping, entertainment and dining district of Disneyland Paris, which is in the middle of a very big transformation project to bring it into the 21st century. Unlike Disney Springs in Orlando, which is its own separate thing, Disney Village acts as a passageway for every guest of the Disney hotels except the Disneyland Hotel. With this, the construction project isn't as easy as closing everything down, so a phased approach must take place. Today, we'll go over new information, plans, deadlines and concept art Disney shared regarding Disney Village, so come along! Before we begin, if you enjoy my content and this video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing as I upload weekly videos on theme parks from the past to the future. If you want to go the extra mile, consider becoming a channel member. You can find me over at Twitter, Instagram, Threads and in a Discord community where many fans and creators come together. Links are in the description. With that, let's dig in. Disney Village opened with a resort back in 1992 with the infamous architecture by Frank Gehry. The original concept had a very strong focus on entertainment. Just like with Disney Springs, there used to be a backstory. Here, Festival Disney would take place in an abandoned power station, hence the very tall columns that held more than 3000 light bulbs, illuminating the night sky as if stars. While this was the concept, both guests and cast members criticized Festival Disney due to it having a soulless atmosphere and since then many additions and changes have been made over time which slowly replaced the original creation, making Festival Disney a mix of different ideas, concepts and styles. Planet Hollywood was one of the first big changes when it opened in 1996 with the big cinema complex opening a year later. From 1992 to 2022, countless more additions happened, for example, the large McDonald's, Cafe Mickey, Rainforest Cafe and many many more. Well, in 2022, during the 30th anniversary of the resort and therefore Disney Village, the company announced a complete makeover would be happening. It all began with the closure of the character dining restaurant Cafe Mickey which received a major overhaul and opened late last year as Brasserie Rosalie, a restaurant inspired by traditional Parisian brasseries that serves some of the best food in the entire resort. Works were also carried out in the adjacent shop, Disney Fashion Junior, that acted as the first real-world test of the new facades, artwork and more. This is where we are now. A series of construction permits and new announcements were made in the past month which gives us a better look at the future of Village, so let's go through them. The makeover is being done in two separate phases. The first one includes a North Block Village, everything from Brasserie Rosalie to Annette's Diner. Here, the permits for demolition of each of the original Festival Disney columns have been granted, meaning the removal of these will be done throughout this year. Other permits have also been granted for the works in the shops and restaurants. But what exactly is happening? Glad you ask. This concept art was released by Disney last week and it shows how Village will look like not so long from now. There are several things we can spot in this concept and with the help of Imagineers behind the project, more information is now known. This is the current Disney store, which will be renamed Disney Wonders. This will be the home of every Disney franchise, from studios like Lucasfilm, Disney Animation, Pixar, Marvel Studios and others. The new facades are one of the most important parts of this first phase of the overhaul. The Disney Wonders shop will have one of the standout facades as it will have an Imagineer set, big, bold, colorful artwork, in this case integrated into the metallic walls. At night, it will transform itself perhaps similarly to how Flight Force works with some pixie dust looking effects. Other facades will also implement technology, such as this one that seems to represent the famous Pixar clouds from Toy Story. Imagine is really focus on the artistic side of the new village that will celebrate the stories from Disney movies and the two theme parks. That's the focus of village, to celebrate these stories. 
Well, moving forward, we find a sports bar that will be getting a makeover as well with new contemporary placemaking, as seen in this concept art. The old Disney Fashion Junior, which is now a near-completed store, will become a new concept in Paris, a Disney home store. Here, homeware products will fill the shelves so you can fill your home with Disney things from the kitchen to the living room. To its left is the Lego store, which will also be getting some big changes. The newly refurbished store will feature several photo opportunities, new amazing builds and interactive playstations alongside all the expected Lego sets for sale. This great concept art shows the outside of the store and its new photo op with many Disney characters in their Lego form. Continuing to the left, the Disney Gallery and Disney Fashion Stores will merge into one big offering, with another new concept, Disney Lifestyle. They'll have everything from ready-to-wear clothing, jewelry, accessories and new collaboration pieces. With its contemporary setting and great products, it'll be a fantastic location for some great shopping. Going back outside, we can have a look at one of the most important parts of this whole transformation, and that is the complete reimagining of the walkways. It'll turn the stagnant, old and industrial look of it all into a modern and dynamic new look with the help of enhanced landscaping, new planters, trees, benches and at night impressive lighting packages. As we can see from this updated concept art, the Gardens of Wonder that helped Disneyland Park celebrate the 30th anniversary will be brought to Disney Village and add not only some new decorations, but also kinetic energy, bringing it to life. While this is the latest look into Disney Village, older concepts show something that wasn't highlighted last week, and that is the South Buildings. This will be a part of the Phase 2 of Disney Village, and not a lot is yet known. This concept shows a modern facade in place of the now-closed Planet Hollywood, whose building will soon be demolished according to permits filed by Disney. The south side is the one that needs the most help, as more construction work will need to be carried out, from the old entrance to the now-defunct Buffalo Bill's Wild West show, the cinema, Planet Hollywood, King Ludwig's Castle, Billy Bob's, all the way through Rainforest Cafe and Earl of Sandwich. If you're a fan of this last restaurant, rest assured as it seems like not a lot is changing on that front according to this great artistic concept. With all that said, the Northern Block will be getting an opening this year as construction continues to move into Village, now covering Disney Fashion Junior, the Lego Store, Disney Fashion and the Disney Gallery. The Disney Store transformation into Disney Wonders isn't confirmed to be opening in 2024, but with how quickly everything is moving at the moment, it shouldn't be too long. The Southern Block, that's where things get complicated. Not only has Disney not talked about what will happen to most of these locations, but there's no projected opening date either. This can be attributed to the simple fact Disney Village handles thousands of people a day, being the connection between hotels and the parks. Because of this, a phase construction and closure is truly needed. It's also interesting, only Disney-owned locations, with a few exceptions, have been announced. This is likely due to the relationship between Disney and these brands and each company wanting a separate announcement as their place to shine. One of these companies is McDonald's that have announced a new restaurant coming to Village. This also brings us to the next and last phase of the transformation, the expansion. Back in 2022, Outside Years revealed a complete transformation would take from 5 to 6 years of work, therefore ending in 2027 to 2028. But that deadline isn't for what we've been already over, but rather the expansion part of it all. You see, the current McDonald's is set to be demolished as a new Disney Village street will eventually go from that location to Avenue Paul Ceremy, transforming the district into a circle of shops, entertainment and dining options. Without a doubt, this side of Village will become where most outside brands are located, similarly to Disney Springs. 
This can be seen in the original concept art released back in 2022, where new shops can be seen where currently McDonald's and the Disney Village Dome are. But also the street we've been talking about, going from this side to the roundabout. Near the lake, Disney promises a relaxing lakeside park and boardwalk, terraces, and of course, lush landscaping. The new McDonald's restaurant is set to open in 2026. This could be an important milestone as one of the first additions to this expansion side of the project. It will be located near the current one, but closer to the dome and the events arena, opening up space for the new street. As you can see, the Disney Village project is much bigger than what Disney is currently showcasing. Of course, it makes sense to announce things as they go, and I'm sure we'll get a lot more information regarding everything, including new shops, restaurants, and experiences as time passes. Fact is, the old, soulless village is slowly being transformed into a much more dynamic district, and having tasted what Rosalie offers for myself, I must say I'm excited for what's coming. So hey, what do you think of the new aesthetic? What brand would you like to see come to Village one day? Let me know down below. And now, as always, thank you for watching, and that's a wrap.